All right, welcome to part three, guys. So what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be doing a little bit of painting. We're gonna be doing some sanding. Um, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna install a socket for the back light in the back of the boat. Um, and probably just gonna be cleaning up some of this hole. So um, just stay tuned and um, I'll be back to you guys with the progress at the end of today's video. So I also did bring one of those bump outs so I could show you guys that as well. Hmm. I might install the switch panel too, I'm not sure yet, but uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding this transom down here. So here's just a quick little video of what it looks like before I hit it with the sander. Also gonna run the sander down the top of this and the top of this one. So here you go. All right, here's what it came out looking like after I hit it with the sander. Again, that was 60 grit sandpaper, so it was pretty coarse but I'm fine with that. I'll just go ahead and uh, re-water seal it now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start sanding this down. Well, first I'm gonna vacuum it out real good. Cause like I said, this is gonna be the battery box. Hopefully, I hope the battery fits in there, first of all. So I should probably measure that. But anyways, if that doesn't work, then I'll just bump it back to this one once I get the foam out and it'll work out anyway. So I'm not really too worried about it. Um, but yeah, so. I will put up a, another clip after this, after I get it vacuumed and sanded and primed. I'm gonna sand this with 60 grit uh, sandpaper as well. Um, so yeah, so just stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. This is after the second coat of primer. It's starting to, it actually came out really nice. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I really like it. So um, one more coat of primer on this and then we will go ahead and start painting it. All right, it probably doesn't look much different in this video than the last video, but that was after three coats of primer. Um, it's still drying, as you can see, it looks pretty wet. So we're gonna go ahead and let that dry up. We're gonna do some other things with the hole, uh, do a little bit more cleaning, and um, then we'll go ahead and start painting whenever this is dry. All right, so me and Bobby are vacuuming out the hole right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with uh, the works. I seen a thing on YouTube from a different channel that said if you use the works on um, aluminum, well, for one, it's safe. For two, they said it cleans the shit out of it. So I went and got two things of the works, um, an empty spray bottle and a scrubber. So we're going to go ahead and uh, spray it over here and in the back, and I'm going to scrub the shit out of it and we're going to see if it works. So um, yeah, I guess I'll just show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I know I said I was using the works for cleaning the hole, but this is the exact product that I was using. Uh, so it's the one with the blue cap. I don't really think it matters, but as you guys will see, this shit works wonders and I definitely recommend it. I did uh, connect some of my, uh, just the terminal ends to the uh, wires that I have ran. So I got both of these kits from Harbor Freight. I think it was like $5 for each one, which is a steal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these wired up. Well, not wired up, but connected. Um, so then they're ready to just connect to the switch panel and the battery whenever I get that done. So, all right, so I went ahead, I got the wire stripped back on the two ends from the light and the two ends that are going to run down to the switch panel. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these wire connectors and a piece of heat shrink tubing. So I'm going to slide this down like that. I'm going to go ahead and twist that end, twist that end. I'm going to feed both ends into the connector. Take my crimpers. Okay. I'm just going to crimp this thing all the way across. Right. Give it a tug. It's nice and tight. Bring our heat shrink up. Like this Put it over the connector. And now just go ahead and Just 
Let me shrink this down. Alrighty, so that's how you go about doing that. So now I'll go ahead and do that to the negative side as well. And then this light will be all ready to go. All right, this is what it came out to look like after three coats of paint. I just painted it silver, same thing I used for the uh, seat bases. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's literally just gonna be a battery box or dry storage. So I think it's a lot better than it was. All right, everyone. So today I got the transom sanded down. I primed back there and the transom support. I put one coat of paint on that for now I ran out. Um, I sanded the tops of these down. I cleaned them as well. And then I took the works and I cleaned the whole bottom of the hole. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but I guarantee you that thing hasn't been cleaned since 86 when this thing was built. So as you can see, this is what it looked like. And, or that's what it looks like now, I should say. Um, up here is what it did look like. It looked like that. So uh, I am gonna go ahead and clean this as well. Um, I still got to get the foam out of here. And here is one of the storage areas. So I primed this, three coats of primer, three coats of paint. So I really like the way that came out. I'm going to do one more coat of paint on there, though. Um, and I'm debating on priming the inside of this and painting it. I mean, nobody's really going to see it, so it doesn't matter. But I kind of just want to because I'm OCD about it. Um, here's the new switch panel that I picked up. So... I will go ahead and get that installed in the next video because my next video, uh, part four, the plan is to have the floor put in. Once I put the floor in, I can put these two bump outs back in. So then that part will be done. Then I just got to work on the back and then the casting deck. So um, I got the uh, power. You can't see there's a bunch of junk in here. I moved it out of this compartment, but I got the light connected right there and then i also have the transducer power um connected to the wires that run through here up into the switch panel so um we got a pretty good amount of uh, stuff done in this today and it's looking really nice so here's another view but uh yeah stay tuned because we'll probably have carpet and a floor in this thing next video so here you go, one final look around. Again, this will be cleaned. The foam will be taken out of here. And this will be turned into a storage area, which I'll take this support out and that support out if that's the case. Um, but I have to make sure, it's either gonna be the batteries going here and this will be dry storage, or if the batteries don't fit in there, the batteries will go in here and this will be dry storage. So we'll figure it out, but yeah, she's looking good.